After the color examination, we are ready to proceed with the operation, transforming a cabinet into a red retro piece. Mm, shall we? I sanded the whole piece with 180 grid to take the shine off so the paint will stick better to the piece. Then I cleaned the whole piece with white lightening Dixie Bell cleaner using a wire sponge to give it a deep clean. Afterwards, I rinsed the solution just with water. I did it about 3-4 times to make sure every bit of dirt is off. After it dried, it was ready to paint. I used Honky Tonk Red, which is a strong and a very pigmented red color from Dixie Pell. I used a mini angle brush to apply the paint and making sure to dump the brush beforehand using the mist spray bottle. Dumping it beforehand will um, help minimize uh, brush strokes. Also, to prevent brush strokes, I only take a little amount of paint on the brush. The legs are in a really good shape, so we decided not to paint them. It's also a nice match between the wooden retro legs and the red cabinet.
I use a little brush to apply the paint on the wooden bars. Let it dry for two hours in between coats. Now it's time for the second coat. The same applies for the second coat. Dump your brush and take a little amount of paint on it to avoid brush strokes. After long discussions, we have decided to paint the cabinet inside in red and it turned out uh, to be really interesting, no regrets. After the second coat dried, I noticed there were a few spots where the wood was um, slightly visible, so I applied another thin coat, almost like a color washing, uh, making sure to keep the brush damp at all times. I sealed the whole piece with clear best dang wax and I used La Petite brush to apply it using circular motions. Uh, by the way, all the products used are listed in this tutorial description and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more furniture tutorials. Then I left the wax to set for about 15 minutes and then I buffed it off with a piece of cloth. On the top I applied three coats of gator hide um, using a blue sponge. We usually apply gator hide on top of a piece um, to have a better protection and also water resistant finish. And this is the final result. Hope you enjoyed the process and the final result. Learn something new and we will see you next time.